All right, start off with the traditional wipe the water off the head from the shower. I'm your host, Cullen. Welcome back for another shave with Pelagic Shave. Today we will be using, as soon as I could get my tongue untied, <clears throat> Moon Soaps Amaretto. This is a, this is a fabulous, fabulous scent. This stuff smells so good, you just want to get a spoon and eat it. Uh, my only thing about this soap is that it is very, it's almost like a paste. Um, it's not a crope. Um, it's more like a cream. Mine is. It's never gotten firm. Um, it's just really pasty and um, sticky and gooey. So I have to use a whole lot of it, which is okay because you get six full ounces. And this is decently priced. I believe it's only... Um, 16 18 dollars something like that so it's good price for six ounces so you can't complain about it um it smells great lather's great um everything's great for splash i'll be using choke cherry from sphinx um i'm using this because i can never get the amaretto um in stock and i think it's a bomb um and i'm a splash type of dude razor today i'll be using the rex I almost said Ambassador Envoy. This is a three piece razor. Uh, blade today will be the Treat Black Beauty. It's a double wrapped. Um, it's actually called the Treat Carbon Steel Double Edge. It's, people call it the Black Beauty because it's black. Uh, it's a really great, well, uh, it's a really good razor that's inexpensive. I wouldn't classify it as great. Um, but it's a very good razor, especially for the price that you pay for it. Um, can't complain about it. I get two great shaves out of it, just like with all the other razors that I'm done. Um, brush today, I'll be using Rubber Set 400, number four that I just finished restoring. And I have a 26 millimeter, this one I'm calling the Typhoon Knot. This is my own knot. <clears throat> and my Plagic Shave color inspired twin pine wood turning bowl um, I already have my lather so let's go ahead and uh, this brush is kind of holding lather today because it hasn't been broke in this is its first use first use after being treated um, and I am not a face lather I don't like to Base lather, I'm not good at it. I like bull lathering. I haven't put these knots on my Etsy store. I'm not sure if I'm gonna. But it's a 26 millimeter SHD I see that nice slice from the other day. Um, I can't remember if the hair in that is Manchurian or High Mountain White. Um, it's, I don't believe it's two band. The gel's way better than two band. That moon soaps, it's just such a pleasure. It, it smells so good.
people say it has an almond and cherry smell. Um, to me, it smells exactly like um, amaretto liqueur. If you ever smelled amaretto liqueur, it has that that bright cherry blast. Um, that's very reminiscent of uh, maraschino cherries. This Rex Envoy is such a great, great razor. Um, it truly is. The, the threading on it, sorry, I'm sweating. I took a really hot shower. I've been working all day on leather stuff and and brush knots and replaced replace the scales on two of my uh, razors uh, really just to see if I could Now the tips on this uh, knot are just so good. You know, and it's uh, the shocking thing about this brush is that you would think for a solid metal handle, it would be slippery, but it, it's, it isn't. Um, but last time I used the Rex here, um, I said the only downside to it was the packaging. The last packaging that I had on my last Rex was just a little blue, it was cheap. Um, and I've, I saw on online that uh, Matt Pasarsik has changed the packaging. Um,
He's changed it from the last time I saw. I guess I had the original packager. Um, so um, if Matt happens to see this, uh, my apologies, Matt. I didn't know that you had already corrected that. And for a $125 razor, that is perfectly acceptable packaging. Now I notice that they're two hundred and something dollar Rex Ambassador has the same packaging. Um, which to me is fine um you know cdb on one of his videos he was talking about the the carbon you know as much money as it costs Um, that's a little cardboard box is, uh, doesn't represent the cost and the quality of the razor, but he said he understands why the owner does it because it's all biodegradable and You know, every time I use moon soap, so I love this soap. I get frag burn from it, uh, but I still use it because I love the smell of it so much. Now, as soon as I'm done shaving and I wash my face off, it's all gone. So it's not, it's not lasting. It's not like menthol. Um, menthol for me, I thought I was just going to have one of those classic shaving moments there where you cut your ear over here somehow because I went too far. Not being able to see in the uh, cell phone here. But there's a this soap and uh, One of Peter's soaps um, gives me frag burn.
But even with that, I continue to use that soap because I love the scent. And I think it's FDLP is the one that does it. Uh, it may not be. No, it's not FDLP. I can't remember. And it's not Khalifa. As strong as that one is, it doesn't bother me. Um, I can't remember. It's not a very strong smelling soap, though. It's just a certain ingredient in there. But I still use it because I love the scent. Whereas if this, like, I had Amaretta or Moon Soaps. Uh, what's the one that's a barbershop one? Uh, whatever that one was. I didn't know it had menthol in it. Most people, it wouldn't bother one bit. I got to shaving. First pass, I didn't notice it. Second pass, I started feeling it. Um... And the third path I was like, wow, something just isn't right. For the rest of that night, my face was on fire from that little tiniest bit of menthol. Um, I don't know why I'm such a baby when it comes to menthol. Um, but to me, there's, there's nothing cooling about it. Um, that's just like with icy hot and all that mess. There's nothing icy. Um, it's just hot. Um, you know, because your body, everything it feels, um, it can't tell the difference between heat and cold. It just triggers that pain receptor. Um, that's why when you get, when you grab an ice cube or something that's really cold, you feel like you get burned um, because your body can't, it doesn't know the difference. But anyways, blah, 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 blah. That's me. Um, let me get cleaned up and I'll be back with it after shave review and I'll be back. And we are back. All right, to recap tonight's shave, we use Moon Soap's Amaretto. This is just an absolute maraschino cherry delight. This stuff smells so good. It smells just like the Amaretto liqueur. It has that bright maraschino cherry scent. For splash, we are gonna be using choke cherry. Um, I, like I said earlier, I use this because I can never um, get the other one, and I prefer Splash to Balm. And that Choke Cherry is just phenomenal. Um, truly, truly a joy to use. Um, bold tonight was my Twin Pines wood turning uh, Plagic Shave themed bowl by Twin Pines Wood Turning, Artisan Don Bird. Y'all could look them up on Etsy. Um, they're a friend of the channel, an affiliate link will be attached. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you find something you like, message them first on contact the seller. Like, go to that, look at what you're looking at, bowl, whatever. Contact the seller, message them so it shows what you're looking at. Tell them you want, you're interested in buying that. Um, give them the code PelagicShave10. They will adjust the price of the item or items um, less 10%. And then she'll, they'll email or message you back and tell you, okay, it's ready. You can put it in your cart and pay for it so you get 10% off. Um, razor today was the Rex Envoy that I have polished, as you can see there. Um, I, I, I got a blade in it, but I even polished the base plate, the top of it. Um, and this is my Typhoon Knot that's in my rubber set 400. Dash four, uh, look how jelly that sucker is. Shake the water out and this thing is just bomb diggity. Um, I have one or two of these available. Uh, they're gonna be $45. Uh, you could PM me. Um, I have a tie and I believe I have um, one of the Tempest Knots, which is um, just barely gelled, um, whereas this one's a heavily gelled one. <clears throat> but like I was telling you earlier, I rescaled 
uh, my straights today. This is a vintage Wade and Butcher um, from Camelbone. Um, it came like that with these nicks and I don't know what the deal was, but I just soaked it in hot water before I um, scaled or did it, of course. Um, I didn't do the bone in the middle. Hot water, and I used uh, fuchsia colored tie dye stuff in the water, soaked them, took them out, and then redid it in a blue, and so it came out that cool purple. And then I did this one today, um, which is my Tori uh, with the barber's notch. I don't know what size that is or whatever, um, but. <clears throat> Also coming to the um, Etsy store will be fire hose traps, 24 inches long. Um, if you want them a little shorter, just let me know. But I'll be selling these if you want it individually, or I have some Latigo leather coming in. Uh, we could do it on, on a traditional strap, but just a fire hose strap by itself, I'll be doing those for 20 bucks. So um, message me if you want one. Um, and, uh, but that's the shave tomorrow. I don't know what I'm using, but I know the brush I will be using is going to be this one because I've been waiting to use it. Um, uh, my Craven Shaving DNA, uh, brush. And in this one, I have my Typhoon Knot also. Um, or I, I might use this one. This a little tiny guy that I little bore brush that I just gelled, little Ever-Ready 52C, little tiny guy. Um, but thank you for tuning in. Um, stay safe. Um, have a good shave. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment if you would. And like I said, if you want anything from Twin Pines, you have to message them first. You can't put it in your cart and then do it. It'll mess things up. So message them first and then I used my magic serum of, um, youth there but thank you for tuning in once again uh, take care um, be safe and God bless